Apparently, a lot of you are really interested in German road signs, so this video is probably going to upset you. In it, I'm going to complain about the sheer number of signs in the average German city. German drivers have inevitably coined a word for this, Schilderwald, literally forest of signs. The problem is that while each sign may have a logical reason for being there, once you reach a certain critical mass, they simply become distracting. After all, until self-driving cars become safe, reliable and cheap enough to become the norm, there is a lot for drivers to watch out for, not just the signs. Let me walk you through what I think is an example of unnecessarily complicated signage. If you were to see this sign, which direction would you expect the traffic flow to be? If you said, as I would have said until quite recently, towards the camera, you'd be wrong. This is a one-way street, but traffic flow is away from where I'm standing. There's even another no-entry sign at the other end of the street. To add to the confusion, Google Maps shows the traffic flow in the wrong direction. OpenStreetMaps gets that one right, but both get it wrong for another street. At this end of the street, the sign is modified by several supplementary plates. It is only in force from 11am to 6pm and from 8pm to 6am. There are exemptions for cyclists and taxis and for vehicles displaying a disabled sticker or a pass issued by the city council identifying them as a local contractor. So builders, electricians and the like are allowed to enter. This is in a part of town that is already behind a similar but slightly more relaxed restriction. No access between 8.30pm and 6am except for taxis and cyclists. The idea seems to be that you can leave the area at any time, but there are only certain times of the day when you're allowed to enter it. I asked the City Council what this regulation was supposed to achieve, and they replied that it was to cut down on the amount of traffic going through the area, but they couldn't ban it completely because people live here. There's this sheltered housing scheme, for example, or these parking spaces, or these parking spaces. OK, so it's basic traffic calming measures. But, I pointed out, nowhere is there an exemption for residents. They can leave their homes any time they like, but if they don't get back from work until after 8pm, they can't legally park their own cars in their own parking spaces. In response, the council told me that, oh, well, of course residents are exempted. Well, yeah, sure, but if you're going to put a long list of exemptions on the signs, why leave out the people who are most likely to need an exemption? It's not just residents either. Here's a van from a company that installs and maintains building control systems, and it clearly needs to be there, but it's registered in Leipzig and doesn't have a pass issued by the Aschaffenburg City Council. I reckon this is a ridiculously complicated solution to a very simple problem, and although I know next to nothing about the subject, I think I know what I would suggest. First, consider this. Who is going to be driving through the area anyhow? Here's all the places you can get to. The only way in is here. The only way out is here. Everything else leads to a pedestrian-only zone, and so is a dead end. Nobody is going to be using this as a rat run. First off, let's get rid of the really quite confusing no entry sign. Now we could instead use all vehicles prohibited, but if instead we use all motor vehicles prohibited, we are already automatically allowing access to cyclists, and so we don't need an extra exemption just for them. Next, does the time restriction achieve anything at all? I reckon it doesn't. Basically, the road is open for part of the morning, presumably for deliveries, and for two hours in the evening, for some reason, and closed all the rest of the time. Instead, let's have this supplementary plate. It grants an exemption to anybody who has a legitimate reason for being in the area. Residents, people visiting those residents, 
delivery vans, electricians, plumbers, ambulances, taxis, and so on and so on and so on, which leaves us with this. So, how about it, Aschaffenburg? Why not lead the fight against the German Forest of Signs? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.